Hey everyone, welcome to a new story and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we will be creating a very simple, more dramatic and moody vibes poster look in Photoshop. And if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please, please, please do subscribe my channel. And this PST file is available for my Patreon supporter. If you want to support me on my Patreon, then the link is in the description list below. So with that, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop. So first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'll just go with 4x5 and resolution to 300. Let's change the color bit to 16. And let's click on Create. And after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Then Ctrl T, let's make it a little smaller. So before that, let's convert it as a smart object. Ctrl T. Let's make it a little smaller, just like so. And let's flip it on the other side. Yep, let's keep it like that. And maybe let's make it a little smaller. And you know, let's make it a black and white image. So let's go over here, add a hue and saturation, and let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 and let's merge this to control E and then let's go to filter and let's go for a neural filter and let's turn that skinny smoothing on and maybe let's increase the skinny smoothness to maybe like plus 17 I guess it, it looks good to me let's make a copy control J Go to filter let's go to uh, blur gallery and let's go for a filter blur and let's make a kind of this blur and again let's go to filter go to blur and let's add some motion blur too and let's increase the distance pixel yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and now let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's go for a black color and let's erase some of these parts just like so and let's increase the opacity some more and let's get some of these effects back right over here and again let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e and let's keep the remaining layers inside a group just to rename it as a backup and let's turn that off and let's select this layer ctrl j let's make a copy and let's go to image mode and let's change it to 8-bit channel and then let's go to filter let's go to filter gallery and from here let's go for a diffuse glow and let's see let's add some green in this. yep let's keep it like that and the glow amount yep let's keep the glow amount as five and let's click on okay so this is what we got and then now let's add some text let's uh, move it a little inside and let's keep it somewhere over here and let's add some another text right over here and let's make it a little bigger maybe increase uh, this one and from here let's uh, change the font uh, to this one like so and then let's uh, change the text color to maybe white and let's create a one more layer right over here go to brush and let's go for a black color and let's add some darkness right over here just like that and let's and let's drop down the opacity some more yep let's keep it like that Right. 
over here and now let's add uh, some extra text right over here and then let's change the font to maybe this one and let's make it smaller and maybe it like that and let's um, change the alignment to a side alignment and let's keep it right over here and let's keep the sticks all the way to the bottom and then uh, let's drop down the opacity a little down maybe just like so and let's uh, keep these three text inside a group so these are the one I'm talking about or maybe let's include this one too yep and let's make a copy ctrl j and let's turn the visibility off for the bottom layer and right click let's merge this group so we have a text let's convert it as a smart object then go to filter let's go to blur and let's apply the same blur again uh, let's first start with fill blur and let's click it okay and then let's go to blur again and let's add a motion blur and uh, for this time let's change the direction so just like that and maybe let's drop down the distance just like so and again let's create a layer max go to brush and let's erase some some of these parts just to create some uh, variations and then let's turn that visibility on for the bottom layer and again let's do the same thing for this one create a layer max and let's create some of these parts from the bottom text too. And let's get these parts back. Just like so. And then now let's create an eclipse on top right and then let's create a stroke and let's change the stroke color to pure white and then stroke size to three and let's uh, drop down the fill to zero and let's create a text yep, just like so and then let's drop down the size and for the eclipse let's make it a little smaller yep just like that and let's make a copy of that text layer Control j Control t let's make it a smaller again and again let's change the font size to more smaller and maybe let's copy and paste some text yep, let's keep it like that and for the stroke again let's copy Make a one more copy of that Eclipse, Control T, uh, and let's uh, make it a little bigger, just like that. And maybe let's change the stroke size a little bit higher, yep, just like so. And let's add a uh, one more text right over here. Control T. Keep it like that and then again let's keep everything uh, inside a group control G so this is what we have let's rename it as an element and then let's create a layer max go to brush and this time I will just go with the branch brush this one and then let's make the brush a little smaller Let's make sure the color is black and then let's change the opacity to 100% and let's edit some of these parts and create some kind of grunge looks right over here and again let's drop down the opacity for whole uh, element and then let's add a one more text on the bottom
and let's add a color balance go over here add a color balance and let's uh, go for kind of cyan look yep let's go for this one and let's go for more towards green Maybe the sign is too much. Let's go for kind of this one. And let's drag and drop this texture on very top. And let's keep it on all the way to the top. And let's change this uh, color mode to screen. And control G. Let's make it smaller and let's add some rotation let's keep it just like so yep just like that and maybe let's uh, drop down the opacity just a little touch yep just like so and then let's add a final uh, image right over here let's change it to black and white so press ctrl and q let's drop down the saturation to all the way to minus 100 ctrl l let's make it a little darker and maybe yep just like that and let's change the blending mode to uh, soft light ctrl g let's make it a little smaller And then let's add some blur like we did before. Go to filter, let's go to blur. Uh, and let's go for a field blur. Yep. Let's keep it like that. Let's click on OK. Now create a layer max, go to press and let's erase uh, some of these parts where I don't want those ticks to be there. then maybe let's drop down the opacity just like that and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye